How do you break a 30 year habit? I had a client on Friday and I sat down with them, amazing guy. Been in business 30 years. And for 30 years, he never broke 100,000 in sales. Never broke 100,000. And you know, when I see these guys that are at that level, it's very hard sometimes to get them to believe they can do more because when you've been at that level for so long, I mean, oh yeah, that Andrew Argue guy, he's telling me I could do this, he's telling me I could do that. I got 30 years, I got 30 years of experience that tells me it can't be done. Oh, and you're gonna tell me this well, whippersnapper coming in here, oh, what does he know, right? Well. I love this guy's story. I mean, not one of my best case studies of all time yet, but he started up with us last May. And I think over that 30 year period, he'd never really done more than 100, 110 K. Um, talked to him on Friday and he's at 36,000 year to date. This time last year, he was at 6,000. Okay. And he said, if he doesn't get another sale, he'll, he'll do 250,000. If he doesn't get another client, he'll do 250,000 this year. He's got 80 people that still need tax planning. He's got 300 people that he knows. He's doing active marketing. And so, you know, there's a very good chance this guy will do 500,000 in sales this year because his mentality changed. Now, one of the things you have to understand is that if you've been at a level for 30 years, none of that is real. Just forget about it. Just take, I, I, sometimes I tell people like, take that 30 years of experience, put it in a little pile right here. Boom, it's right here. We got, we got the pile, this 30 year experience pile, drop a nuclear missile on it and it just, just forget about it. It's completely gone. None of that shit is real, okay? Right now it is February 10th in the afternoon, okay? The question is right now, what do you do, right? How do you get an appointment before the end of the day? And when you get that appointment, do you sit down with somebody and do you go through and show them the value? Do you go through and talk to them about what you can do for them? Do you actually ask them for the money? Do you actually try to pitch compli or compliance work or are you trying to move to advisory, right? Are you trying to do advisory level services? Are you showing the freaking value? That's an example of the deck that we use in the program where you move from compliance to advisory. And so, look, I mean, I don't care if you haven't done it, right? Has anybody ever seen that founder uh, the, the movie The Founder with Ray Kroc, right? Guy was in his 50s, started McDonald's. It doesn't matter what you've done. It does not matter. It's all fake. It's not real. Your memory of it, you know, I used to be, for probably a decade of my life, I used to have this mentality. That I knew everything about my childhood, and oh, I was this abused kid, and oh, blah, 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 blah. And don't get me wrong, there was some bad stuff that happened to me as a kid. But if you look back at like a, you know, let's say a 20 year period of a child, I could pick out 75 experiences and say, oh, I had the worst uh, little childhood. I had the worst. D did you really though? I mean, think about it. Did you really? I mean, one, you got to live in America, right? And if you're watching this video, you're probably in the United States of America. Just shut up right there. Just shut up. Okay, you're done. I'll automatically done. Okay, so... If you've been in America, if you've had a business for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, you haven't been able to break 50, 100, 250,000, guys, wake up, right? Or if you've only been able to do it through acquisition, talk to a guy today, only been able to do it through acquisition, get it together. You probably haven't changed because you haven't changed. You know, if you want to go to another level, you need to completely reinvent yourself, completely reinvent your identity. Do things right now that the previous you, that you for that 30 year period wouldn't do. I'm not salesy. I don't ask for money. I don't present like that. I don't care. I'm done with it. Done with it. Get rid of it and do something different today. And if you're looking to do that with us, you've been watching these videos for a while, you've been creeping around. It is February 10th. I just did an amazing training for some of my people on what to do during this tax season, how to charge, how to price, how to renegotiate clients, how to get people on quarterly maintenance when they come in and ask for more. I mean, I love this time of year because it's just like overwhelming demand and just irrational craze of need and necessity for tax services. And so um, whether you're doing the tax side, the CFO side, you wanna add wealth management, we'd love to help you. There's an application below this video. Um, you'll get on the phone with me, my team, we'll walk you through our exact process, how it works. Even if you decide not to work with us, it'll be 90 minutes of extreme value and we'll see if it makes sense and see if we think we can help you. Right now, bit today, I looked last week, 58% of people that applied and signed up, we put on a list, do not call, do not call. We have very specific requirements about the people that we work with. And so 
58% of people that filled out information to learn more about our company, we put on a list, do not call. And they might still get some of our emails or whatever, but um, so if you fill out this application, you know, make sure you put in information that says why you think you'd be a good fit. Tells us a little bit about you, your background, link your LinkedIn profile, depending on which form it is, if it asks for that. Um, because you know, now I've gotten to a point in my business and you're probably at this point, as, you might be at this point as well, where you, you want to work with a very specific type of person because you know you can help that person. And so we've got a very clear understanding of who we can help. And so if you've been thinking about working with us, go ahead and fill out that application and I will see you on the other side.